Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another round of Adoraiju Plays Star Trek Online. Today's mission, Tangled Webs. Things are heating up with the Tholians. Monitor stations are detecting large fleet movements toward Federation space, and they're refusing all of our diplomatic hails. We're doing all we can to prevent a war. It's not looking good. I want you to join a task force on assembly. I think. This goes south, and I want my best people on the front line when it does. So they can die instead of me. Anyways, our next mission, Tangled Webs. So we're gonna see exactly what the Tholians are up to off in the Federation frontier. I shouldn't be having significant issues with the Tholians at this point in time. I've been scanning the timeline and I think I found the problem. You smell funny. Two years ago, a Tholian colonial fleet was destroyed. The Tholians blamed the Federation, and increasing hostilities have ultimately led us here. This is something I'll need your help to correct. Really? So... I pinpointed the incident in question, setting temporal transponder back two years. We need to correct the timeline during the Defiant's encounter with the Tholians. The Defiant? Ladies and gentlemen, in case you really don't know, the USS Defiant, uh... Well, let's just say that this is a direct sequel to the original series episode... What was it called? The Tholian Web. Kabooj! So here we are, and uh oh. We've arrived in 2268, and not a moment too soon. The Nakula are clearly out for blood. Tholians are quite xenophobic. They may feel the Federation is part of the problem here. We've got to convince them otherwise, Daniels. We're being hailed by the Defiant. I'll remind you that our orders forbid us to talk I recommend deflecting their questions until the situation here is resolved. Agreed. Put them on screen. Good to see you. We're in a real tight spot here. The Tholians were taking a serious beating when we reached the system, and the other ships opened fire on us the minute we dropped out of war. Mind lending us a hand until we figure out what's going on? Sure thing, Captain. Let's save the Tholians while we still can. This, this was a Tholian home. So we're going to need to do... What we're going to want to do is take out these Nakul vessels, but the Nakul are pretty tough. They're nothing to sneeze at, but then again, neither are we. So we're going to wipe and take down these frigates first. The aliens have disabled the Tholian flagship! She's in trouble! Well, that's not good. If the Nakul kill the Queen, an entire Tholian bloodline will be wiped out. That's not good. Oh boy, more of these guys. I'll take down the frigates before I wipe out target the destroyer. Well, there goes that one. There's another frigate. As long as we can take on these frigates, we'll probably be alright. Estimated Tholian casualties are in the thousands. Who cares? They're big spiders! <laughs> Vengeance! Vengeance for the children! But yeah, seriously, this is a real bad thing that they're doing, so we're gonna have to do something about it. Boom, boom. As long as we can take down uh, this monster, we shouldn't have as much of a problem as you'd think. You know, you, yeah, seriously, you'd think that a ship from way off the distant future would completely wipe out an old Constitution class from the original series, but you'd be wrong, apparently. These Connies were built to last. I guess that's actually what Star Trek fans call the old Constitution class of ships. They're Connies. Not to be confused with commies. Alrighty. Looks like our foes still have a few more tricks up their sleeves, and by that, I mean... Uh, the main ship seems to be in big trouble, but not as much trouble as these guys are going to be in once we get our hooks into them. The Defiant's helping us out, but we can't do this... Uh, I was going to say, the Defiant's helping us out, but we can't do this alone! Well, that's why the Defiant's helping us out! <laughs> and a darn good thing she is, too. Come on, you. This ought to be slow these down. Down 
one goes that one. Target the frigates first. That's a general rule of thumb that generally works for me. If you target the weaker ships first, then the tougher ships are going to... Uh, that ain't good. There needs to go some repairs. We are getting slammed by both Naku ships. Oh, thank goodness, the repairs are completed. And there goes the frigate. This ought to be enough to at least, uh, slow them down. Man, maybe we're just better than the Defiant. Maybe that's it. Maybe we're just better. That's all you need to know. What the heck? I mean, uh-oh. Face maneuvers! Run for your life! There's bad guys afoot. Whoa, Nelly! I almost ran right back into that giant cannon. That would have been dumb. And I would have been in trouble. But I didn't. Thank you, I'll take that. A stealth module. Okay, then. So that's that. Cavalry arrived just... Suppose you have any idea what's going on here. There's nothing on these aliens in our computers or why they'd attack the Tholians. Or us, for that matter. Later, Captain. I'm going to stop the borders on the Tholian flagship. All right, do what you need to do. We'll talk about all of this when the shooting stops. Deal? Deal. Stay safe, Captain. I know it doesn't feel great keeping information from the Defiance crew, but believe me, it's for the best. I'll monitor the situation here while you assist the Tholians. Do what you can to save them. Good luck. Time to prepare for departure. In the only way we can. By going to the launch pad. Oh, come on! Sorry about that. I found appropriate transport coordinates on the Tholian flagship. Hopefully you can convince them that we're not at fault here. If the Tholians go to war with the Federation now, it would be devastating on a galactic scale. Keep an eye on things, Daniels. Let me know if anything changes. Sensors show that the interior of the Tholian ship is too hot for us. You'll need to put on an EV suit before going there. Understood. So, how do we get an EV suit? Why, we just equip our bridge officers with them, of course. We've already got them. Here's mine. Here's Amy's. Here's Scavron's. I think. There we go. Here's Tarsi's. And here is Vulot's. There we go. Looking like a bunch of assholes. <laughs> EV suits are quick, Captain. We're ready to go when you are. Right. Time to beam to the Tholian ship. Head out. Reading only a few Tholian life signs. Precious and few are the moments <coughs> that we spend blowing these guys up. Aha! More of them. We'll have to do something about that. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that in mind. Try not to get phasered out of existence in the process. Whoa there! Where'd you come from? Is that all of them? I think it is. I'll have to scan this dead Tholian for reasons I don't really understand. This Tholian went down fighting. Multiple combat injuries have been detected, all from plasma weaponry favored by Nakul strike teams. The kill shot was fired into his thorax at point-blank range. Oop. And there's a way out. And there's a way to uh, obstruct us with bad guys. In case you can't hear him. Well, that's too bad. <clears throat> Whoa there, where'd you come from? Hold your horses, sailor, where do you think you're going? Ouchie. And just a little more, and down they go. Accolade complete, dodging and burning by receiving a thousand plasma damage. So the Nakul use plasma weaponry. I honestly didn't know that. You go, and down you go. 
Looks like that's it. Oop, or not. Could be wrong. Any more? Lieutenant Commander, the Nakul have triggered the ship's shutdown. Self-destruct sequence. It's gonna we've gotta shut that down and fast. Right. I know, I heard ya. Now, a word of advice. Don't stand too close to these consoles when you repair them because they shoot right out like that and they could whack you in the face. But in a more serious problem, there used to... I don't know if this is still a problem, but there used to be a glitch in this section that meant that when it's shot out, it could trap your head inside of the console and render you unable to move to the next area. You'd be stuck until it was all over. Whatever you did worked off the ship from Our work's not finished yet. I think. Yeah, they'll get over it. A couple hundred years. Uh-oh. Where'd you come from? Oop. The answer, hell, is n unacceptable. Down they go. The last remaining Tholians are close to your position. And more not cool are on their way. I'd hurry if I were you. But you're not me, so shut up your face. The Tholian Queen! The Nakul are trying to kill her! Oh boy. That ain't good. I have to do something about that. And by the way, in case you're worried, the Queen can really defend herself pretty damn well while you're trying to wipe out the Nakul here. Without assistance, she will eventually die, but... Not along... Not without taking us... Doing us a big favor in the process. Oh boy, there we go. Out, let's see, that's three out of four not cool boarding parties that we've wiped out. One, okay, two more, these guys, three more, four, okay, there's a lot more than I thought there were. That all of them? I think it is. Sup, your highness. We are not of the Nakul. We're from the United Federation of Planets. Federation Nakul. All humanoids are the same. Chaotic, irrational, peaceful, then not warring, then you lose. We're not the same as the Nakul, Majesty. We're not your enemy. To your eyes, we're all humanoids, but we are not of the same mind. Those you call Nakul kill our people. Our children are What can we do to help? We fought the Nakul and we came to save you. You cannot help us. Too late. The hatch slaughtered. The colonists lost. Nothing can help in the face of this terror. We must send our message. Others will come. Leave now. If you say so. We've got enemy ships on an intercept course, including a dreadnought. It won't last long against a force like that. Understood. Continue to fight, Nakul. Keep them from us while we contact our sisters. If you speak truly, you will not betray us. We won't let you down. We better get back to Troy before that Nakul Dreadnought comes back in a range. Right. Beam us up. I said beam us up. Okay, what's the... Oh. I said now beam us up. There we go. The end.